Hi, I'm Brother Alex, and I'm here in the San Zubel Brothers' house, and with me are the students from Search M. Hi everyone, my name is Emilio Tuason. I'm Sandra Manzano. And I'm Carl Manzano. Today we're going to prepare Brother Alex's breakfast omelette. It's supposed to be a healthy omelette, but because I love bacon, I especially request it for bacon. So this is my favorite part. But I'll first, I'll show you what are the ingredients we will be needing. Guys, do you know how to cook? Um, yes. Yeah. Mm, a bit, yeah. Pretty we'll take much. that as a yes. So we'll <laughs> yes. find out later on if they could actually cook because I actually asked them to do the slicing and doing the different, different techniques. So what do we need? First, we need mushrooms. Um, preferably sliced mushrooms. So this is canned mushrooms. Then we'll have uh, bell peppers. And what is this? Tomatoes. Very good. So we need tomatoes. Rich in vitamin C and lycopene. And obviously, what are these? Eggs. Very good, eggs. <laughs> and how about this one? Butter. Butter. And this one in foil? Cheese. Okay. And we'll take this last. How about this one? Onions. Onions. And our favorite? Bacon. 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 <laughs> and finally, everyone's question what this is all about. What is this? Spring, Spring, Spring onions. Spring onions. Um, later on, we'll use uh, bread, toasted bread, to serve with our omelette and salted pepper chicken. Shall we begin, gentlemen? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, we need to slice our ingredients. We just can't put everything in one pan and then cook everything and wrap them all in an in, in egg. So we'll start first with our juicy looking green bell peppers. This is how we do it, guys. Carefully with the knife. Once you slice it open, of course there are seeds, you don't need that. So you need to scoop it out. I don't know how Ratio Ray does it quickly. Uh, <laughs> does it like magic. Um, okay, so maybe just to have. Yeah. So we slice it and just some strips. For me. Okay. Very good. I can do it. Careful with your fingers. Oh. I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> the last thing you want to happen here is to bleed before you eat your breakfast. So be careful, people, when you slice your ingredients. Yeah, guys, you gotta be very careful. All right. Very sharp. Okay. Perfect. The next thing we'll slice will be the tomatoes. Brother, why is the yes. omelette your favorite breakfast? Um, I actually learned how to cook when I joined the brothers. Um, part of our formation in postulancy is that we get to cook our breakfast on our own. So we get assigned each day to cook breakfast for the entire community. And our cook back then taught me how to fold the omelette. That's what I'm going to show you later, how to fold it properly. And I hope it works, and I hope I still do not forget it. It's been a while since I last cooked for everyone. That was like six years ago. So I hope that technique is still here. And I hope you also get to pick up a thing or two on how to prepare <laughs> omelette. So you guys are in search in. Yes. Um, since you wake up very early and sleep late because of the retreat, would you be willing to cook breakfast for everyone? Yeah, sure. Yes. Maybe you can come and cook for us too. I could help <laughs> you and supervise <laughs> your cooking. <laughs> yeah. And it'll check by then if you if you do this correctly, our brother Alex's breakfast omelette. We'll have that part of the uh, breakfast, healthy breakfast for everyone. You know, if we screw up, you're always welcome to make it for us. Sure. <laughs> I'd be happy to step in and say, oh, that, that's part of it. That's, that's, uh, that's part of the show. Okay. So, so, brother, like, on a normal day basis, do you cook your own breakfast? Uh, not anymore. We have people who cook breakfast for us. Um, it's only in information houses that we get to cook. If we have our free time, then that's the time I actually cook. But 
the brothers are busy people. Um, the moment after we pray, we have breakfast, and then we go on our respective assignments. So I don't think we have enough time to really cook unless we sit down on a holiday. I think the best part, gentlemen, is to fry our bacon. Yes. yes. But we'll do it the healthy way. We won't use any oil. Rather, we'll let bacon cook by its own fat. And we make sure that the pan is really hot. And then, one by one, we put the bacon. Let's go, Sans. Okay, some more, please. Be sure there's space, so there'll be enough space for each bacon to cook. You'll be surprised later on that uh, there'll be so much oil. Oil coming from the fat of the bacon. How many strips do you want, brother? The more, have the it more, the more, the more yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't you just love the smell of bacon? <laughs> yes. That's in fact considering just a bacon and cheese omelette. But since I want it to be a healthy breakfast, I added some vegetables instead. Yeah. So. Bacon, the good stuff, and of course the better stuff over in vegetable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like to turn it around? Is it cooked already? Not yet. Is it tongs? Is it tongs? Add some more bacon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bro, what inspired uh, you to become a brother? Uh, to make space. I was also very active in searching. Um, back in Bacolod, I was a uh, search in Circle 63 and have been a facilitator since I was in high school, just like your age. Uh, I think it's really my involvement with young people, my interactions with them, running retreats, running searching for them, yeah. uh, made me realize that it's something I can do for the rest of my life. So, given the opportunity, I said, why don't I try it out? And give search in even until I get old. That's what I'm doing now, I'm still yeah. active in search in. So do you love being a brother? I love very much being a brother. That's good. Uh, it's like it's like having breakfast. Don't you just love breakfast? <laughs> you can't skip breakfast at all. Yeah. You know? so being a brother is something like that. It, it's something you do. It's something you love. It's something you're passionate about. Add more, brother <laughs> Sandro. <laughs> what do you love about being a brother? What I love about being a brother is being able to do what I like doing without counting the cost of it and being able to do it 24-7. Um, you know, I'm the youngest in the family and I always wondered what it's like to be an older brother. I think by being a brother now gives me that opportunity to be the elder brother to yeah. as well as trusted to my family. Bro, I know you're busy all the time, so but like, what do you do when you have free time? Um, I go out with friends. I make sure I have my life outside the brothers. Yeah. That means I get in touch and reconnect with my friends who are not brothers. Oh. That keeps me grounded. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, I live with the brothers 24-7. I deal with the brothers 24-7. In just to keep me at bay and grounded with my life, I interact and meet my other friends as well. Or sometimes because I, as you mentioned, we're busy people, Yeah. I take the opportunity to sleep <laughs> and rest the whole day and do nothing, yeah. which is something different for a change, for a change. What do you guys do on the weekend? Same, we go out with friends. Go out with friends. And what do you do with your friends? Go out, yeah, go out, yeah. have fun. <laughs> yeah. They deserve that. You yeah. deserve some break after doing yeah, after uh, a lot long, of school work. Yep. I just like staying home and sleeping. So so you're after home. the retreats of uh, SI, 
It's yeah. always a long weekend. Mm -hmm. You have the entire Monday to, to catch up on sleep. So we're done frying our bacon and we've cracked our eggs and we're about to whisk it. Sandra will do the whisking for us. Okay. Just a splash of water <laughs> will do. Water actually makes it fluffy. You can also use cream or, or milk. So brother, what do you love about La Salle? Uh, what I love about our school or institution is that people are so... The communion, the community is very strong. People know each other, people are there for each other. Regardless of what, what school you belong to, in what level you belong to, but it seems like everyone knows each other because we're all united with this one La Salle idea. And I think that's pretty strong in, in a Lasallian institution compared to other schools and institutions. What could be your tips for those Lasallians who want to be brothers like you? Um, first, they have to be open. Just like you guys agreeing to cooking with me today. You just yeah. have to <laughs> say yes and agree to the idea that maybe the cooking of this omelette may not work or could work, but at least you gave it a try. Yeah. You gave it a, we gave it a shot and we'll know later on if it's going to work. Um, life is like these different ingredients. And I say about becoming a brother, the, the usual question students would ask would be, what's the sign? Or are there signs? Yeah. I don't want to limit a sign or something supernatural and then just one big ultimate sign. Rather, signs for me are like these ingredients. They come in different forms small ingredients of our life that we put them together like the omelette later on. It makes a different dish, a wonderful dish. And I think that's when you say, oh, okay. So brother, this is good enough? Okay, we will... We'll... <laughs> <laughs> You've been missing for like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's add butter in our pan. Yeah. How much this? Uh, more. more. Okay. So, Carl, turn it around. It smells good. Yeah, it smells good. It smells good. Especially the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the next step? We're gonna saute everything. Okay. Even even the mushrooms. Yeah. Let's we'll start first with the onions. Onions take a while to, to cook. Okay. Just wanna caramelize it a bit. Then we'll add in the tomatoes. Okay. The sauteing is my favorite part in cooking. I love the smell of the onions and the tomatoes as they cook. They smell good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, pepper. What's next? Pepper. Uh, we'll add the uh, bell pepper. Okay. Good one. You. The bell pepper is also going to add the color. So you see that? Look at it. It's a nice green and, and red to it. 
we, because we eat with our eyes. We eat with what we see. Yeah. If we don't like what we're seeing, I doubt if we're gonna eat it or touch it. Yeah. Looks healthy, pa. It is, it is. Now, may I have the mushroom? Good. Good luck. Sure. So brother, with your favorite omelet, breakfast omelet, what do you what do you like having with it? Is it like rice or just wheat bread? Wheat bread would be perfect. I I'm not much of a rice eater myself. So bread would do, especially wheat bread. It's healthy. Or it seems like a heavy meal on itself. So I could eat just one omelet and survive the day. Plus you have the bacon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sure that our pan is really hot. Let's add our butter. This one. Yes, please. What I love about butter, it enhances the flavor of whatever it is you're cooking. That's true. So it's not healthy, of course. But you know what? It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Spread it evenly. So, brother, when you were young, what was your favorite thing to do uh, as a kid? I was a nerd when I was young. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'd study and study and study. Now we add our egg. egg. Make sure it's spread around the pan. And allow it to cook the bottom. Yeah. Until the sides are dirty. You don't have to worry much if the top isn't pretty cooked yet. What we're after is the bottom. Okay, spread it to make sure that the bottom hardens. So brother, um, did you ever play any sports when you were young or in high school? I did not get into any varsity teams. Or like any hot. Like for intrams, what did you play? Um, then I was a nerd. So I <laughs> pretty much uh, spend my day just watching and cheering. Mm. But recently I got into running. I do long distance running before. <laughs> and tested myself really on how long I could run. Yeah. <laughs> now we add our... You don't have to worry if the top's a bit... Uh, and cooked yet because it will cook in its own later. Okay. Is this where you're gonna flip it? Yes, yes. Should we um, increase the heat or it's okay? Okay, that's okay. okay. Of course, our Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Main course. Yes. Miss everything except the <laughs> Then. Or quick melt. Add it kick later when it melts. Sounds good. Hearty breakfast. It should last for the entire day. Give it the entire weekend. <laughs> okay, now the fun part. Let's see part. if it works. <laughs> Go. No pressure, brother. <laughs> oh. Fun crap. Like crap. Okay, brother, show us the skill. Okay. Can you help, help brother? Like, Maybe we should get another side. Oh, oh, oh brother said it. Here we go. He got it. Yeah. It's quite an open omelet. <laughs> the thing is that uh, it's quite supportive. <laughs> I think it's 
is ready and they have our pan. That was good. I hope it can be better eat. even. Okay. We just slide it off. Do you see the cheese? It just melted already. Yeah. 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 It is really quick melt. <laughs> <laughs> quick melt. Keep it there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Good. Just beautiful. 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 <laughs> and then, of course, a bacon. Yes. Yeah. So they know what to expect. There's <laughs> something better inside, and that's bacon. Mm. Yeah. That? Yeah. That's it. Brother Alex's ultimate breakfast omelet. Guys, this is our finished product. This is what I was telling you about when people would ask me about signs and stuff. Mm -hmm. They say, brother, is there one big sign or one supernatural sign? That's why I became a brother. Uh, just like the ingredients we've gathered and put together in this omelette, my life as a brother was something like that. Different small experiences of different ingredients put together, integrated in one omelette, created such a beautiful dish, made me realize it's such a beautiful location. All those experiences put together made me say, wow, the brother's life is the life I want to take. And I hope you enjoy this omelette, same way as I enjoyed my own vocation. And I hope you guys would like it. If you want some more, you can follow us at YouTube. Or you may follow me to know more about myself and what I do on a regular day. And, and what else do I do aside from being a brother. You may follow me at Twitter at B-R-A-L-E-X. Same time, also from Instagram and ask that. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, everyone. And I hope you enjoy. Mr. Brother, would you like to cut it? Okay, first slice.